In this video, we shall be learning how to create a payment voucher from the Payables menu of Smart Media ERP. Payment voucher is a document which can be used as proof that a monetary transaction has occurred between two parties. In business, a payment voucher can be used for a variety of purposes, sometimes taking the place of cash in a transaction, acting as a receipt, or indicating that an invoice has been approved for payment. From the navigation menu, click on Payables then click on the Payment Voucher sub-menu. The Payment Voucher page loads with a list of pending vouchers and the Plus New Voucher button. Click on the Plus New Voucher button to proceed. The new Payment Voucher form appears with the following under listed fields. Beneficiary. VAT Taxes. Payment Method. Other Taxes. Payment Date. Beneficiary. Here you are expected to enter the name of the beneficiary for this voucher, cost center or even a customer. Note that a beneficiary can be a supplier, employer usually in the event of processing a refund. You may start typing the name of the beneficiary and the autocomplete feature will look up matching records in the beneficiary master. The autocomplete feature in Smart Media ERP will alphabetically display the names that meet your criteria from the sub account master. Next, you are required to select a payment method from payment drop-down list. Options available includes barter, cash, check, e-payment or check. Select the payment method you desire to use for this voucher. Payment date. Note that the payment date automatically defaults to the current date and time. You may click on the field to use the date calendar to pick a different date if you do not want to use the default date. Next, check the box on the VAT field, yes. If you want VAT to be added to the voucher being processed. Or click on no if you do not wish VAT to be charged. When you have completed, populating the fields of the new payment voucher form, click on the proceed button to continue. The payment details form appears. Here you are required to enter item details for the voucher being made. Cost Center Double click on the cost center field. A list of all cost centers in the cost center master is displayed. Select the cost center you desire to charge the voucher to. Expense name. Double click on the expense name field. A list of all the expense and related payables accounts in the company's general ledger is displayed. You are required to select the expense account that matches the expense of the voucher. Narrative. Here you are required to enter a narrative for the expense you selected. Quantity. Here you are required to enter a quantity for the voucher. Price. You are required to enter a cost for the item. Paying account. Double click on the paying account field. A list of all banks and cash accounts in the company's ledger is displayed. You are required to select the paying account you intend to use in paying for the expense. When you have completed. Populating the fields of the payment details grid. Click on the proceed button to continue. Next click on the review details and continue button to save your new payment voucher.